living here, um, I came here, I was, according to them, I was three months old, you know, I was transferred from one village uh, in 1941. So they brought us here, that said here to settle this uh, area. So I grew up here uh, since 1941. And Living in a village is very healthy. Village life is the best part of my life. Uh, when there is no light, you know, when there is no traffic, no pollution or anything, you know, I believe you live in heaven that way. I grew up here under the stars and the moon and the sun. <laughs> and life was great. I was great living in a village. We have abundance of everything. There was love, there was food, there was everything. City life, I never like it when I grew up, telling you the truth. Until when I meet my husband, you know where I tell her? Babe, I don't want to leave the town. Can't leave the village in here. My husband he say I try it first. And it may feel funny if you leave well for here, you know, when you maybe leave the city, I just don't want to leave village life. If you catch one bus, if you go to work, you have to get up at 4 o'clock. If you walk out, if you catch one, the first bus, if you go to work. So he may find it really difficult first, but gradually get used to it and he, live, he love it now. You can't tell about city. I grew up in um, Hacintoville and I lived here in Cat Landing for 10 years and to me village life is, is, is better than living in a town because you can, you have time for yourself and for your family in the town, you cannot even have a place where you can recreate. The houses are so close together but in the villages I have um, a nice family setting, I have a yard where my children can go and play and I like it here in the villages. I feel good here that I grow here in Benke. I think it's a very calm place. You don't hear that they're killing people and you know, whenever... I think it's a calm place and I'm very proud of Benke. It's a peaceful life because as, we, as I grew up, for example, I would say, I lived at my grandparents' place, well, along with my father and my family. We grew up in a, in a farm and that is that has been more of like an interest to me to live within nature i live in this village all my life and that's 40 years and with village life it's very nice you can wake up in the morning and have no fear village life is very sweet very very sweet we are uh, we are feeling difficult living in San Jose because we live far. We know got current, we know got better roads. That's why we little bit um, sometimes we feel it hard in our life because sometimes we need some things like a lot of things like sun or everything we want. It sometimes it's really hard to come if you want to build a house. Well, right now we still don't have running water, but it's on the way. Um, the electricity, about 11 years now we had electricity run here, but before that we used to have a generator. And we only use the generator when night comes and when you're ready to go to bed you turn off the generator. So that only use at night. So apart from that we never really miss the electricity because we still used to have light when night comes. In the village you don't have like internet and here at town there is more like internet more service i think it's better because like less corruption less crime you can focus more on your studies and less distractions well growing up on a farm it's fun you get to make a lot of noise if you're playing music you can you have a big yard and stuff in otherwise living in a town you have certain hours you you can't make noise and stuff. There's no wildlife probably in the town. You know, back there we can do our farming. We can plant 
veggies, um, fruits, you can have them close by the house and stuff. And you're breeding fresh air at the farm and not polluted air, I'd say. I like my village because of the productive land that they have and the people, the kind people and, and they, they love to work together. We had farmland and then we started out farming. We plant our vegetables that we could have planted. We could plant rice, corn and so on. Those are the basic food that we have, that we, we are growing here. There's definitely more advantage living on a farm because you can do your own sustainable farming. You know, sustainable, like in terms of, you can do a little garden to grow your, your peanuts. And, and sometimes you can grow your sweet peppers, your tomatoes. You can grow a lot of you know, little vegetables just to sustain the family. And for every crop season, you can change. And, and maybe, of course, it, a little help from another job would help. You know, like maybe you work at a resort or work for somebody else. And when you come home on your days off, weekend, you have your family also that maybe will, well if you want you can teach them to, to take care of the, the farm and thing and but then when you go to work and then when you come back you can also work there and so I would say that village village life in a farm is far better than than living you know, around a lot of people <laughs> I grew up here and I have all my family here my like my sisters, my brothers, uncles, and whatever. Yeah, all of the family live mostly in the village. We see that we are Mayan. The story that we heard, that I have heard, that Yucatec Maya people, um, our old ancestors came from Mexico. They fled from Mexico coming to Belize. But I think that when, when San Antonio started, there was just like um, 11 families that started this village. I think the population of San Antonio is over 3,000. I'm 15 years old right now and I feel happy to live in San Antonio, the village, because here's a lot of places like to go and having a walk with my friends and other things. When I grow up, I want to work, find a work and maybe go out of the village. Actually, no, I'm planning to move out to town. Uh, it's closer for me to come to work and stuff. We have everything closer. Although I'm pretty much going to miss the farm, you know. It's really nice at the farm. For the past two years now, what I'm doing, I'm trying to do, see if I could um, sustain myself. But um, living in the area here in our village is far from the town and the cities. Um, it's really um, hard working, I mean, um, living here because you will um, find out that going out of the village, if you, you, you take a bus from here because we have two buses here. Uh, it's really uh, a very um, challenging situation to be traveling because the road conditions, some of the times, um, at, at, at right now the road, the road is kind of all right. But last year, the road is very bad. And uh, you have to wake up early in the morning to catch um, any one of the buses. The first bus leaves at 3.30 3 in the morning. And the second one goes at about 4. Yeah, and that's all. We have just two buses. They leave PG again at um, 1 at 11.30, next one at 12. Uh, you have to come back because there's no other bus after that. If you get left, you'll, you can't come back. If you get left, well, you can catch a bus going to Santa Cruz through the highway now and you come out by Santa Cruz and you walk the, the bypass, they call it, between just that way, San, Santa Cruz and San Jose, which is um, two and a half miles. It's not, um, if you are not used to walking, you will feel the, the up and down because you have some big hills, up and down hills. Sometimes the road is so bad we can't get out. When the weather is very bad, well, we can't even come out from village to come to town. The, yeah, the road is muddy, sometimes we get stuck there and it washes away and it gets flooded. We have to wait until the water comes down so that we can make it 
even as a nurse when I work. In fact, I was transferred to the um, Rockview Hospital for that reason because I couldn't get to work really on time as I wanted to. I spent most of my life in the rural area. I went to Belize when I started high school. And then I, during holiday time, I go back to the rural. And when I graduated from high school, then I still came back home and I'm there up to now. I went to the Anglican Cathedral College. I take general studies and I went back to the rural era because it's, I just enjoy living up there with all the nature and things. I didn't really like the city life in a whole. Our high school students sleep here. Before we had to sleep in the Angriga town when you go to high school. You have to sleep in the Angriga, uh, stay there and you will only come home maybe on weekends or during the holidays. But now since we have the road, uh, we have the buses running the students from here every day. So they do not have to sleep in somebody else's home. Growing up in this village was rough times, good times, all sorts of things. Uh, for, for one, going to school, we never live on this side. We used to live over the river. If you can notice the river running between, we spend like 20 odd years over that side. Then going to school, we got to wake up in the morning, use a dory, walk to school, and the road was just Picardo Road, not road like this, just some little trails to go to school. And when we come back in the evening, my grandfather used to do farming. So we have to come home, go to plantation, plant some things for him, go back home, do your homework, drink your tea, and drink your tea before night. And um, you couldn't be out late at night because they don't want you to be out late at night. So when you're the out late, your tea chance are come outside and make them all know. <laughs> when I came here, there was no electricity, no running water, no TV. So it was, a, like you want to say a poor way of life, but a happier way of living. Because you had the huge sea in front of you. The people are friendly, everything is homegrown. All the stuff were going, people going to the farm, neighborhood like in Corozal. You don't know your neighbors, your neighbors don't know you. Here it's that neighborly way of living. Now going from here to Chicago was a big shock. First of all, it's a huge city. You have to be on the go every single day. Um, there's no relaxing. If you don't go to work, there's no, you don't make any money. One, it was cold, <laughs> you freeze compared to... And the third thing was coming back and making something of Hopkins and that's what we did. I came back home a lot of people said why are you going home? This is all good life in Chicago but well, why would I want to stay there when this is home? People are still stick to their traditional uh, way of life um, fishing. Now it is basically diversified with, with the tourism industry. Uh, a lot of it, a lot of the people here are employed um, in the tourism industry whether directly or indirectly for the most part. Um, directly uh, but life here is is fairly smooth and people enjoy Hopkins uh, leisure time people still spend time playing their little dominoes playing sports and things like that so in the village it is the best place to raise your children is much required things happen but it is a much more on a smaller scale than in the city um, it is much more healthy in the village you know it is calmer and like I said healthier generally I'm not comfortable living anywhere else than Hopkins because I love being free because here I can go in my community I can go anywhere any part of the night anytime I wanted to but in um, in the city it is not the same there is too much violence around I, I like my village life because I don't hear no gunshot. I could sleep. I could lift my bath pan and my clothes on the line and sleep so good.
that's the reason why I love my village life. And everything we get from the farm is fresh. Fresh to eat. So morning I get up, I don't have to run, go buy nothing, everything. I chef up something, because I like to cook. Well, I was born on a farm in Maypet. I now just got a half moon on a farm. I studied agriculture at um, the Blaze College of Agriculture, and I taught agriculture for 11 years. And I'm now on the farm for five years plus. Um, why I love the farm is because um, of the freedom you have, no? and um, the fresh fruits and milk and meat and you know, the, the, the flavor is just different when you when you go and buy stuff from the tongue if I'm a city it's all stale and the flavor is far different from fresh products probably with me and my family we own over 100 acres of land no? and um, we have different site different sites we have access to the river we have access to the to, to um to the to the forest you know we go we, we, we go fishing we go hunting we go just nature walk no? um, I think it, now things are changing um in terms of the lifestyle where uh, we had at one time people used to spend time reading or involved in community activities now because of television and all of that uh, people spend more time basically at home as well so there are internet cafes here um, people as well have their own home internet so people are are in, in tune to the world um, as we speak uh, we are finding out that uh, we have road yes uh, people find employment, people afford to pay, them, um, pay their uh, bills because of the rules. So we have uh, employment going on in the community. So the work, the, that road there now, we'll see more people coming into this community. And we need to have more businesses because now I'm not making good business, but when that road is better than how it is i will i think i will make more money before i die <laughs> i will sell more drums <laughs>